All right, so we're back. Let's see. And now we have our gravity back in our inventory system. So that's pretty much it. So in this tutorial, it's basically a part two to my last tutorial, which was our um, in custom inventory GUI. Um, so really this video, we're going to be doing the data store part. So data saving, so saving the items in the custom inventory, because someone told me, um, that, uh, the default. So actually what well, I think I linked in the video, I linked, um, I linked the video to my item save tutorial, which was basically like data store tutorial for the items, but apparently it didn't work with the custom inventory GUI. It only worked with the, the default roblox inventory system which like which was like the default like the default roblox inventory like the backpack uh that i showed you uh last video but yeah it didn't work because i think you really only need to add something to it that's why because i just realized it didn't actually work but i'll be showing you in this tutorial how to actually make it work um but yeah because this is a custom inventory system it does need uh, a bit of addition and it's really 80% of the script is the same. So if you want, you can go to that tutorial and then copy the script if it's there. Or I think I might do a paste bin for the, the final script uh, in this video. Um, all right. And by the way, I think so if I can actually show you guys. I can show you guys uh, the script is 80% the same thing. We just need to add something to it and it's basically the same thing we added in the pickup script last video so i think it was in the shop thing the shop game um okay okay so it's this one right here so it was a data store script slash leader stat script because we also add like coins and stuff so coins you can i just added coins because we had a shop system um if you don't want this you delete this delete all this like in the saving part too you can delete the saving part um, and then this we want, this is all the stuff we want. So this is saving the actual items in the player's backpack because we want the player's item to be in their backpack. You can still use this. So pretty much you can copy it in this entirely cut and paste this or else leave in description, the final script. So let's actually make a script. And if you already have a leader stats or a data store script, you either want to delete it or just merge it with this one. Cause we usually just want one entire script for everything, uh, in terms of saving the data so leader stats or actually let's no, call it saving item or just call it saving that makes more sense saving items okay paste this um coins let's not use coins for now so we can just comment it out or something or just delete it but for now we're just gonna delete the coins part saved items so this is the items that we saved from in this key and then we do this so right here so when the player leaves we you do humanoid unequipped tool i think i spelled this wrong it's supposed to be like this um basically all it does huh i think did i make that up? okay whatever but whatever uh so all we really did is make the player unequip all the tools and in that case uh we have all their all their items in the player's backpack because in case a player has something equipped the the the, the tool will be in the player's character not in their backpack and so we want every uh, tool the player has in their backpack. So we can put them into this table called saved items, right? Um, oh yeah, we also want to delete this too for saving coins because we don't have coins anymore. Uh, so this is the table that you want to list all the player's uh, item name, uh, items name. And then like right here, we loop through all the items in the backpack. We put the item's name in the list, each item's name. And then we have a list of our table of all the player items names. And so when the player, so we save it into this key called items, and then our player loads in, right? So we get a sync player ID, and then this key item, the same key, and then do if saved items. So if the player does have any saved items, we'll loop through the, uh, the this table that we saved again, saved items. So they're the same table we saved right here that we put all the items names in and then we just find it and the tools folder. Now in this case, we don't actually have a tools folder, so we should make it. So, I, oh, we call it uh, items, yeah. So just make it folder called items. So let's say we're doing this from scratch. So it's folder, and then we call it whatever you want. Let's say you wanna call it items. And then you wanna put like the clones of each and every 
uh, tool you want. So for example, if this is a gravity tool, duplicate this, put it in the items folder. I can use also like the values of, such as the rarity, the name of it, and the texture ID of it. So I can use all those uh, stuff. Okay, so in this case, we do want to use this, but um, actually, yeah, we're going to use this. I think this is the same stuff that we do want to use. We just want to, we want to add some other stuff. So such as we do want to make a, um, we do want to make a frame for the inventory GUI. So we're going to use this item template and then we're going to clone it to the item GUI. Now that, that's pretty much it. That's literally it. Um, you probably don't, you probably don't want this either, honestly, um, cause leader stats don't want leader stats unless you want to add stats to your game. Um, okay. Let's see. So pretty much now. Also, by the way, uh, items, we name this item. So make sure you name this correctly here. So, and here, so tools for tools folder should be, so in this case we, we did food, but, uh, if you, of course, if you name it differently, you want to. Name it like that. Reference it like that. Uh, so game that replicates sword item. So this is the correct folder we had. All right. Okay. So now we'll go to our pickup script that we made. So this is the same stuff. So right here, when we uh, when we give, gave the tool to the player, we did some stuff here. So clone template. We we'll clone the item template. Uh, the item template. All right. And this is the frame that has all of our stuff. So our image, our uh, our text, everything that we want to put for each item inside the inventory GUI. So if you guys didn't know, so let's just show you guys real quick. You want to put it inside their inventory hold, inventory inventory holder. So right here, and hold on, let me show you guys real quick. So so this is our inventory, and this is our item template. Right, it shows our image and then the text and then the text color would be the rarity. So let's put it back here. Okay. All right, let's leave it like that. And so this is the clone template. We change the text to what's relevant, the image what's relevant, text color three. And then you would get this from like the rarity. So like the rarity, we get it from rarity. Uh the names from the tool's name, etc. And the, the image would be from the texture ID of the tool. Right. And then this, we want to use the same stuff, right? In a sense, it is when the player starts to join, we might we might need to use wait for child because this is when the player, because when you're using it in the data store script, this is when the player has just joined, right? So the, the stuff, so all these, um, so all these stuff, so all these, like the inventory join might have not loaded in yet. You know what I mean? So on remote, you probably don't need this. This is just for awarding, like the awarding GY. So this is just the remote for awarding the, um uh, awarding the player the item but since the player has has this joined right the player already, has already owned the item so it would make sense for to award the item if the player already had it in the first place so we're just saving it and then reloading it one back when or not we're, not we're saving it yeah but in this case so what we're going to do now is we're going to load it and then we're going to give the players the items so let's uh let's try to copy all of this and then this, uh, let's actually, actually let's copy this too. Then we'll, we'll replace it by this. So this is the thing we want to replace. So do this. And then there's stuff that we don't have, so such as rarities and item template. So let's actually copy these variables too. Uh, actually, all the way until two. We don't need tool variable. But that won't make any sense. Um, okay, so air drop info. This is for rarities. So we'll have rarities, item template, and remote event. Uh, we don't actually need remote event though. Right. Then I have rarities. If not, render it again. Just do like, uh, just do. Actually, just comment this out. That's literally it. If you don't want the rarity to show, just comment this out, and that's it. Because you don't want to set the rarity color. That's pretty much it. So let's see if this actually works. And then also remember, so in this folder, you have you want all of your items, each and every item you want in your entire game. So we can check inside this tools folder. Um, and I think that should be good. I think that should be good. All right. So let's play and let's get the gravity coil, right? And then leave. And then let's see if we have the gravity coil still in our inventory. Hit claim. 
got the gravity coil. Let's see if we leave. Okay, let's see. First of all, let's see if there's any errors. Oops. All right. No errors so far, so it should be working right now. So we're back in the game. Let's see if we have the item. Oops, we don't. Okay, it looks like there has been an error or some sort of... Okay. And guys, be sure to remember uh, to have your game published and API services enabled for data stores to work. Uh, so I don't know why it's not working right now. That is weird. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, um, probably because of this. So, uh, maybe the, or not the player, not the player GI, but the inventory in the main, it might have not loaded yet for the player. So we wanted to wait for a child. So we want to wait for this item or for the so inventory. That's the frame. So we want to wait for these objects so then main and then also you might want to wait for holder too so wait for child holder so wait for child basically waits until the item has loaded that's really all it else used for so yeah so let's see what works and now not yet okay that's weird that's like last time we didn't have it so okay, now we have a gravity coil so let's exit and then let's rejoin all right so we're back let's see and now we have our gravity coil back in our inventory system so that's pretty much it i uh, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you want more be sure to uh like and subscribe for more tutorials like this one if you want a new uh if you want to suggest a tutorial uh be sure to uh, tell me in the comments below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, yeah. Oh, also, by the way, I have a Patreon, guys. So if you want to check it out, kind of, um, kind of trying to release like some, release some like game files or stuff like that, or just scripts that can help you guys. Or if you want, you can just do a one-on-one -on -one with me, and then I can help you guys, support you guys uh, when making your games, or just helping guys with my tutorials. And that's pretty much it. So see you guys in the next one.